beautiful stuff. This joke's brought severed. Lovely. Right through preachers. Nicky, what are you doing? Can we just see what you're writing? Because it's really beginning to do my... that song, it was like hearing the start of Stan by Eminem. Tears come but I wonder why. Isn't that it? It's <laughs> terrifying. What are you talking? It's just got Welsh landscape it's on the top. It's a poem by R.S. Thomas. Are you not in? I always thought you enjoyed getting interviewed by me. Is this? Are you just? Is it yeah, rubbish? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm big, just a you big know. fan. <laughs> what was it? What was it like when Nicky came? Well, James was lovely. Well, yeah, Nicky just like, sat there writing. Like for me this week as well. Don't <laughs> <get into that. laughs> Next gonna... time you're staying around Shay O'Leary, oh. you're getting a bit of home cooking. Next time I'm doing anything from Wales. <laughs> we can come to Wales. We can do. <laughs> let's do that. Um, would you love to do? Could you do a concert um, back in that like proper old old school hometown? Uh, there is uh, a little th the little theatre in Blackwood, yeah. um, which we is this still open? The little theatre's still open. Uh, Blackwood Mining's Institute yeah. used to be a good gig. Yeah. You could do. Yes, do that. Nah. I'll help. No. Why don't you want to do that? Everything okay. will come out of the woodwork, man. Oh, for God's sake. Because then, you know. yes, <laughs> like, you, you boys are all in happy places now. This would be a great thing to do. But uh, my dad will bring all his brothers and he'll, they'll nick all the sandwiches from the dressing room and stuff, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's all like... right, fair enough. Let's talk about sport. Um, hey, you almost won the Grand Slam. Um, and because of being Irish, I was very proud. But okay. it was quite a, it was quite a feel-good uh, finale, I thought. I thought it was an amazing climax. Yeah. Rugby won. Yeah, rugby did win, and it was a fun much as I wanted that kick to go over. There was a bit of me that just felt like Ireland have been the best side this season. It's just well, weirdly, I didn't think we'd been the best side this season, but because I think after we beat France, it was became a bit of a war of attrition. Yeah, but that. that's good. That's you know that's what you've always collapsed at in the no, past. No, absolutely. So you um, know, it was kind of insane for us as well because on the last day we could have won the championship. Yeah, could have won the triple crown. But we end up fourth. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just an. It's like it just kind of shows in a, in a sneaky kind of way. It was, it was really competitive championship, but patchy. And the Cardiff Blues, they're your team, right? Yeah, they're my team. Now I know one of their chaps uh, recently got injured. Um, are they? Are they? Are they the best team in Wales? Oh yeah, they are at the moment. But it's it's probably the first year that we've been the best region. Okay. And yeah. what about you, Nick? Who do you follow? I'm just a supporter of Welsh rugby. So do you not follow? Because when I said Nick, to, to, to Jake before he started, <laughs> don't say that. and you I said, "Oh you... no, I don't like the Cardiff Blues particularly." I so I just wonder if you no, had a I different I respect, team that you. I respect them all. It's just that sometimes I get, you know, all these city slickers. I'm a Newport boy, and our region is pretty yeah, awful. That, I'm a city slicker because I support Cardiff Blues. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, he's like he, he mutates between London and Cardiff. It's like, yeah, well, that's the easy yeah. life. Isn't he it? has disdain for London Welsh. Are you? <laughs> Newport wise, are they a good team? Where are they? No, at? they're awful. They're the worst Welsh. Hey, steady on now, come on. Grand Dragons, they've got potential. Yeah, it's, it's, they, well, we've got tens of potential, but this, it's not being fulfilled at the moment. When I get enough money and I retire, I will buy them okay. and I will be merciless in my pursuit oh. of a winning team. Brilliant. <laughs> do that now. Do that while you're just semi retire and do it. I don't know. Yeah, and I will, one day it will happen. I met Joe Kazaki at the Brits. We were so excited about What him. a man. Yeah. What a man. We miss him at the moment. Really missed. Well, did you follow Hatton at all in that recent fight? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I stayed up till four o'clock and I woke up on the set when the, the bell went bam bam. Like, um, I felt sorry for Ricky oh, on the weekend. Man, it was myself. sad, wasn't it? Do you think he should retire now? It's, it's the worst. You can never say it to a boxer because how you take that routine and that competitive thing out, <laughs> out of your life. Yeah. How would you do it? Yeah, you sure. know, I mean, sad musicians go on forever and pretend that they get better with their craft and all that when really we should all retire as well. <laughs> But I th I'm, my sort of my Joe Kozaki is Barry McGuigan. Mar Barry McGuigan did exactly that. He he fought on a little bit too long. And well, it was un unfortunate his fight in America when he lost. I mean, the heat, everything yeah, was against him. It was, it was a bad decision. I remember watching that on BBC and being absolutely gutted. Are you are you excited about the Euro elections? Would that, is that something that would get would would get you excited? Because I'm slightly excited about. It. Yeah, really I'll be like watching it. the coverage. And um, there's a great thing now on BBC Parliament Channel. They actually show election night from the 70s. No! And, uh, you realise how they just had no information. Yeah. So there's like hours and hours waiting for a result and someone just drawing on a blackboard and then you, you wonder how they... There's hardly how even an exit poll. But, but yeah, now the Euro elections, I am excited the about. The new version of that is Sky Sports News because you just <laughs> <laughs> watch that sometimes and go, how do they feel the time? Or you turn on to see your team and then you go, highlights now from Scunthorpe's home game and it goes on and on and on. Oh, the reserves. I like it when they show the yeah. reserves. I'm always amazed how many people turn up to the reserve game sometimes. Yeah, but 
Um, okay, let's get on to the, these uh, the lists, because I've been looking at some of your top five lists. Uh, James's top five cafes in Cardiff. Now, I'm down in, in Cardiff um, quite soon for the X Factor, so uh, yeah. you're more than welcome to have me around. But um, if that doesn't happen, <laughs> which I'm pretty much getting stone your faces here, I'm getting the, the Trade Street Cafe, is that good? That's yeah. just the best cafe in Cardiff by many miles. The, this if would, I don't get a free bacon sandwich out of that plug, then I never will. This would be a, a good place to go for a breakfast or something like that? Well, it's right next Weird. to our studio as well, if you fancy popping in. How close is it to, like, the Millennium Stadium? It's... Ten-minute walk at most. Yeah, at right, the most, okay. yeah. What road's it on? Uh, Street Street. 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 <laughs> Street. <laughs> just, <laughs> off, just off the Penarth Road, opposite Breen's Brewery. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great, I love it. And uh, Mike Phillips, the Welsh Scrum Off, is also his favourite cafe. He's always what's, eating spag ball in there. What's Savini's like? Savini? Solid. solid, solid, good traditional you kind of watch. Italian cafe. Oh, lovely. You put that in second place. Okay, uh, Nikki's top five crisp flavours. Uh, I can't believe you've gone for Brannigan as number Brannigan's one. Brannigan's is just. They, 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 they still use really bad chemicals that burn your mouth. Yeah, the, the mustard's a killer, isn't it? But I haven't. Um, I haven't seen Brannigan's for a while. Yeah, well, you, there is a spa in Risca that sells them. Um, uh, <laughs> how sad is this? So I go up there, um, it's not far from my house, and buy tons of them. That's they look at me way. rather strangely. I get that. Um, what else have we got? We've got uh, James's top five British films. You're going to kill me. I have, I've not seen the Medusa touch. Is it good? Oh, it's a good... It's nearly a, got a touch of the B movie, buddy. But it's, it's not. Because it's got Lee Remick in it, Richard Burton. Okay. You know two A-list actors, obviously, yeah. and um, it's about Richard Burton plays this guy who's kind of got the ability to just make things happen. Bad um, things, as a Bad rule. things. Okay. You know. uh, Is he like a spy, or...? No, no, he's Psychic. just... Psychic. Uh, he has an air of intellectual superiority, and he's just aghast at how hip 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 hypocritical the world is, and so he kind of ends up starting trying to destroy it. Uh, I'm glad Sean's not here, because I, I don't think I could go toe-to-toe -to -toe on Sean's top five Le Mans cars, which, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which we looked at. The funny thing is, he also got his Formula One drivers. Yeah. He had an email from Red Bull yesterday, inviting him to Silverstone, because uh, someone who works at Red Bull is a big Mannix fan. Right. So Sean is over the moon. Brilliant. 